Sergius and Bacchus, the great martyrs of Syria. Sergius and Bacchus, paired male saints, loved each other in ancient Roman army. Saint Sergius and Bacchus were third century Roman soldiers, Christian martyrs, and men who loved each other. Their story is told here in words and images for their feast day on October the 7th. They are by far the best documented, most widely worshipped, and most influential male paired saints in Christian history. They are some of the earliest Christian martyrs. The close bond between Sergius and Bacchus has been emphasized since the earliest accounts, and recent scholarship has revealed their homosexuality. The oldest record of their martyrdom describes them as erastai, erastai Greek for lovers, Scholars believe that they may have been united in the rite of Adelphopopesis, brother making, a kind of early Christian same sex marriage. Their names were often included in the rites of same sex union along with saintly male pairs. Some see them as the patron saints of same sex couples, but their devotion to each other has inspired people of every sexual orientation over the centuries. From ancient times until today, these gay saints have inspired some of the most beautiful art depicting the holiness of same-sex couples, sometimes in homoerotic way. A classic example of paired saints, Sergius and Bacchus, were highly ranked young officers in the Roman army. Sergius was primer, premier, premiserus, commander, and Bacchus was sendudarius, sub, Balteran officer. They were tortured to death around 303 in present-day Syria after they refused to attend sacrifices to Zeus, thus revealing their secret Christianity. Yale professor John Boswell named Sergius and Bacchus one of three primary pairs of same-sex lovers in the ch early church in his 1995 book Same-Sex Unions in Pre-Modern Europe. The others are Polyuk and Nerchus and Felicity and Perpetua. Paired military saints were popular in the Middle Ages. Sergius and Bacchus were the most famous and one of the earliest couples, but others include Maurice and Theophritus of the Thabian Legion. And appendix in the book includes Boswell's translation of the Passion of S.S. Serge and Bacchus from the original Greek text, dated 373 to 395. It was the first time that ancient hagiography of Sergius and Bacchus was ever translated into English. Today, the LBGTQ Christians of the West can get status from their religion, but may hide their sexual orientation to avoid condemnation. However, Sergius and Bacchus faced the opposite dilemma. In the Roman army, homosexuality was accepted, but Christianity was taboo. Sergius and Bacchus were both young nobles in the court of Emperor Maximilian. Their conversion to Christianity was discovered when they tried to avoid accompanying the emperor into a pagan temple with the other guards. When their Christian faith became known, Sergius and Bacchus were arrested and paraded through the streets in women's clothing in an unsuccessful effort to humiliate them. This punishment apparently confirms that they defied sex roles by being lovers. Early accounts say that they responded by chanting that they were dressed as brides of Christ. In Boswell's translation, they proclaimed, we rejoice in you, Lord, because you have clothed us, clothed us with the garment of salvation and have covered us with the robe of righteousness. As brides, you have decked us with women's gowns and joined us together for you or joined us to you through our confession. They told their captors that women's dress never stopped women from worshiping Christ, so it wouldn't stop them either. Then Sergius and Bacchus were separated and beaten so severely that Bacchus died. Sergius and Bacchus bonded together forever. According to Boswell's translation, Sergius wept that night in prison, heartsick over the death of Bacchus, 
Quoting a psalm of the biblical King David, he wailed with grief that may echo David's lament over Jonathan. Sergius cried out, No longer, brother and fellow soldier, will we chant together. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren that dwell together in unity. You have been unyoked from me and gone up to heaven, leaving me alone on earth, bereft, literally made single, without comfort. That night, Bacchus appeared to Sergius with a face as radiant as an angel's, wearing an officer's uniform. He urged Sergius not to give up because he would be reunited in heaven as lovers and be bound together forever. His statement is unique in the history of martyrs. Usually the promised reward is union with God, not with a lover, but not with Sergius and Bacchus. Bacchus urges Sergius in Boswell's translation, why do you grieve and mourn, brother? If I have been taken from you in body, I am still with you in bond of union. Hurry then yourself, brother, through the beautiful and perfect confession to pursue and obtain me when finishing the course. For the crown of justice for me is with you. Crowning was a part of heterosexual wedding ceremonies at the time. Over the next day, Sergius was tortured and eventually beheaded. A Coptic church hagiography states that the body of Bacchus was tossed into the Euphrates River and discovered by a pair of holy men. They, describe, they are described as brothers, but that is sometimes cold for a gay couple. The Lord protected the body and the waves brought it to shore near two aesthetic holy men who were brothers. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and commanded them to go and carry away the body of the saint. When they came to where the body was, they found an eagle and a lion protecting it. The beast spent a whole day and a night guarding it without harming it, although they were the beasts of prey, for they had been commanded by divine providence to protect the body. The two holy men took the body with great honor, singing hymns until they came to their cave where they buried it. Sergius' tomb became a famous shrine, and for nearly a thousand years, the couple was revered as the official patrons of the Byzantine army. Many churches were named after Sergius, sometimes with Bacchus. They have been recognized as martyrs by the Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, and Oriental Orthodox churches. The pair was venerated through the Mediterranean region, the Middle East, Latin America, and among the Slavs. The Roman Catholic Church stripped Sergius and Bacchus from his liturgical calendar in 1969, the same year that New York Stonewall riots launched the modern gay liberation movement. Supposedly, they were downgraded due to a supposed lack of historical evidence, but some see it as an anti-gay action since they clearly had many churches dedicated to them since the 6th century and their earliest hagiography dates back to the mid-4th century. Sergius and Bacchus continue to be popular saints with Christian Arabs now among the LGBTQ Christians and allies.